and welcome to I won't say it's a brand new series but I am going to do play this for 10 videos and then do a review of it not counting the tutorial I did just purchase this it's, it's a brand new release and I really like what they did here because it's a smaller developer they're like hey make videos write articles post do all this it says right here tell your friends you know help spread the word I did do the tutorial and the first mission and the campaign mission I think it would have been more fun if I just would have jumped into it and started recording and you just get my initial reactions where I haven't even done the tutorial and you get all the what the hell is going on here comments but still we're, I'm gonna do the tutorial with you uh, I'm gonna try to do this quickly damn it I didn't start my I should have started the timer sorry tutorial is designed to help us yes yes we know that first of all you're saying needs people scroll the map find an empty place with trees and mushrooms then build 12 houses. Okay. There's mushrooms. We need more trees. There's mushrooms and there's trees. I bet the grade guard is right there. Yeesh. Okay, I guess we'll do it. Over here. Okay. Six. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Now we have to put our road access. It is a basic sim. I mean, yeah, we, we all know how to play these. We've been playing these. Well, I'm not done with my road. But thanks for uh, telling me. Basically, I think that one told me to... Yes, turn on the timer. Normal speed. <clears throat> but go to very fast to hurry it up. And here come our immigrants. Migrants. Huh? But they didn't finish moving into all the homes. This tells us about growing food. Oh, apples, turnips, honey, eggs. Oh, and other things. Obviously, you can't grow eggs. Although, you could basically eggs tells us build scarecrows blah 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 I'm leaving it up hopefully you're watching this on a computer with a big enough monitor that you can actually read this if you want all right we have to do the farming thing be a mistake putting it this damn close but that's okay we'll live with the mistake Am I supposed to build? Three. I gotta connect them by road, of course. Am I? 
just time is moving. I was like, is time moving? Am I doing this right? Now we need a storage yard. Harvest two loads of turnips. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'd like to get the tutorial done in one video, so yes, I'm rushing. They're planting. Plant away, guys. There they go. Look at them work. Look at them work. Go, guys. Work your little asses off. I got that on three. On. I really do wish that I had uh, just gone ahead and started playing this and recording it. It may have dragged out some of the videos, but it's definitely not such a confusing game that I'd be embarrassed. There's a little... I made a lot of simple, basic mistakes. But hey, that's part of the fun of playing the game. You learn. You should have seen the first tutorial. Oh, it was ugly. There's 20 steps, and this is the fifth step. gonna be close if we can actually get this damn thing done in uh, 30 minutes. Is that going bad? Or did I just harvest it? You can see what's going on. Their controls are set up a little bit differently, so it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. And of course it did say that you get your little notifications above the house. They don't have any food, so they're not happy. And there we go, we harvested two. Uh, we need to deliver the food to the houses. And that's peddlers provide that distribution peddlers tent and of course peddlers will deliver in that area but peddlers are also limited <clears throat> excuse me to the number of homes that they can deliver to all right there we go to your houses let's go ahead and Oh, there we go. Once food has been delivered to the house, the house will evolve to the next level. House holds more people, you collect more taxes. Once you turn on put out tax collector. And of course, once the house has evolved, since they got room for more people, you'll get more migrants. This is everything about migrants. They don't have... All right, we're trying to evolve all 12 of the houses, so we'll just go ahead and crank this up. Everything's been based about on migrants on this. I haven't seen anything based on uh, birth rate and death rate yet. But then again, maybe that's coming later. We have eight so far and counting. There we go. Play can happen. Uh, we have to worry about health. Play can happen if we don't get enough medicine. To produce medicine, you build it. Woodcarriage lodge near trees using mushrooms and logs as fuel. Herbalist will create one load of medicine. And then we need to build an apothecary. Don't laugh. To distribute the medicine. Simple enough, right? 
All right, let's go ahead and start off with our herbalist. Yes, right about there. Woodcutter. No, a woodcutter, not a farmer, a woodcutter. There. Let me connect them by road. I'll fix that. Give me time. I moved that tree. I, I, I'm anal about being neat, okay? I like straight lines. And we built the. Oh, I didn't. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. I can fix this. And now we gotta build the Apocathary. One thing that hasn't been explained is, do I need to just worry about... Each house consumes one load of medicines per year. You will need a herbalist shop for every 24 houses. Build a forester's lodge. The forester's lodge is it an industry. That's my biggest complaint about this game. You just can't find what the hell you want. But if you try sometimes, you might just find what you need. I don't think this needs to be connected to the... ...road. I was going through the trouble of connecting them to the road because, yeah, I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, so let's go ahead and speed this up so we can deliver medicine to our homes. Probably should build another storage right about there. Shorter delivery time. Cast spells. Don't ask me. I haven't gotten that far yet. I only finished the first mission. The campaign, it slowly develops and provides you even more about what's going on in this game. The next resource you will need to evolve your houses is, even more is alcohol. Yes. I am down with this. All right, we need to build wine. And the peddler will deliver it. Cool, cool. All right. Um, alcohol industry. One thing it did not tell me is do you have to worry about the grapes being eaten? Because it didn't say anything about scarecrows. So last time I actually uh, we have to build another 12 houses and expand our population to 270. We can handle that. We hardcore. Well you people are hardcore. I'm just me. But we can still handle Hoping that there is enough room to accomplish what I want to. There is not. Okay. I put it in a bad location. road. 
That should be all of them, and they are, so let's speed it up while we are waiting for population to hit 270. We have the max number of houses. So our peddler and our apacathy dude. Yes. Yes, covers the entire area. Good deal. Population is almost at 270. We're still cranking along. The forest. Ah, here we go. Build a tax office, but we have to build a town hall first. Because we want that money. Town hall. That side, tax office. That looks like it envelops everything. And now, pork. We expand into pork. Looks like we have plenty of field space, so we won't have to expand the field space. <coughs> we have to build our pig sty and build six pigs. I think they mean buy six pigs, but whatever. And husbandry, right there it is. Put it on this side of the road, keep it organized. in area for the pigs. If I do have one actual complaint about the game, I haven't discovered how to rotate it. So it could exist, I'm just not doing my job and reading. Alright, we need six pigs. Six pigs. We need an additional woodcutter's lodge. Deep in the forest. We have to connect that. I still haven't. There it is. Forester's Lodge. Excuse me, I had a sneeze stuck in my nose. Ah. Alright, we gotta build a smokehouse. Should be industry. Who did? There it is. Smokehouse. Put right next to the pigs. Seems logical. Luxury resources are also required to help them, uh, the buildings evolve. Furniture is made out of planks, which are made out of logs. You need to build a carpenter's shop to make furniture out of planks. Sawmill. Of course, you can't build an industry near your homes. Otherwise, it lowers the value and the desirability of the area. You can expect it. This, we need to specialize. All food, and we'll go over here.
here. Food, alcohol, and medicine. This one will be raw materials. Damn it, went too far. And finished goods. And I don't know why I'm doing all of these. Because we will not see most of them. Alright, build a third woodcutter lodge. shop. Next one? Yes, it is. And another storage yard. So all these guys don't have far to go. job here. first load of furniture. Whoop, whoop. Still not doing wine or worst. I'm gonna add more lots of wine. Make those guys get to work. Earn your money. Carpenters are earning their money. Why can't you guys earn your money? Because it hasn't grown yet. Oh, there we go. He's earning his money now. Making worst and leather. There goes the worst. Farmers are growing a decent amount of turnips. Way to go, guys. Make me proud. Oh, there we go. The wine is working. Talk, it don't stop. Well, it shouldn't stop. It takes forever to grow wine. Some of the homes will not evolve to higher levels. Oh, they don't like. Oh, that's high appeal. Okay. Somewhat high appeal. Somewhat high appeal. Neutral appeal. Neutral appeal. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Beautification project. Make our little city beautiful. Oh, I have to build two fancy trees too? Okay, whatever, I can handle that. There's one fancy tree. There's another fancy tree. That make you happy? Evolve 12 houses to fourth level. 
All right, so let's crank this up the very fast again. Have we got any homes at the 12th level yet? Fourth level. I guess these are all at third level. Oh, that was quick. Time to start developing our heavy industry. We need four coal diggers, four iron diggers. storage yard near your growers lodges and then this is where it tells you to specialize in your uh, storage yards all right we have to find there's coal where's iron where is iron oh come on now you guys had to give me some damn iron there it is there's iron all right we need four coal four iron okay industry Maybe? No. I know you guys are reading it going, Dumbass! What the hell is wrong with you? Raw materials. Coal. One. Two. Three. For the fourth one. I'm going to do something different. Wood burner shop. That will also produce coal. Oh, hell. I don't think that counts yet. Why tell me about it in a tutorial and then it doesn't count? Where's raw materials at? There it is. Let's go ahead and put our iron diggers right there. Put a storage yard between those two points. So right up there, and then we just connect them. Two smelteries to make iron ore. I have to connect these there. Let's run right by the graveyard. You can guess what's going to happen with the graveyard. We'll put our smelteries so back here, away from everything. Industry, right there. Smeltery, we need two. Yes, we do. Actually, we should put them closer to the iron ore. It's only logical. No! Okay, that's cool. Alright, we need. No. A coal. A iron ore. Our iron. That's all that we should really get back here. Looks good to me. We're producing the hell out of leather, but that's for the pigs. We've been doing that for a while. Very fast. Let's get this going. We're at step 17. We are so close. We're so close that this is going to go long. Because the next time the tutorial will be done in five minutes. And even though I have uh, done the first mission, uh, the first campaign mission, it was considered easy. I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it. Zombies pop up. So yeah, okay. 
we get to build guards, and after we build guards, it's like, hey, let's see the guards in action. Uh-oh, the people say zombies have popped up. Or the dead have risen. They didn't say zombies, but whatever. This is a good basic little uh, medieval sim game. It's fun so far. Of course, yeah, I know. I only did the one campaign. I really can't turn around and make a true judgment until I do 10 videos. And yeah, I will do 10 videos over time, even though they will not be scheduled videos. I won't be... This will not be added to my regular schedule, but I will do them from time to time and then just go ahead and post it out there. That way, once I hit number 10, I can do a review. Oh, little guys work their asses off. We almost have our 16 iron ore. still don't know how Fane interacts. I haven't moved on to uh, magic and lore. Population is obvious. And my axe tells you how to make your axeman. Let's see, we need to build an axeman bearer with access to the road. Military, there we go. Axeman barracks right there. Weaponsmith shop connected to the road. Put by the smelters. And an armor shop connected to the road. Put by the smelter. And we have to train eight axemen. First number two. Three speed. Very fast. Very fast. Tighten up. Move it. Get to work, guys. sad is I haven't done any more reviews over a beer. I really should do one about EverQuest. I haven't done one in about L over EverQuest and I've put hundreds of hours into it so far. That's and no exaggeration. Axe. I did I don't like the music. The music is annoying. Of course there's a volume control. I just like the and sort of my axe. Different music. We're at number seven. So we're going to get our eighth one. And... Come on now. We should get our warning to see the army in action. And my axe. There they are. Zombies. Because... 
every I'm game. sorry to interrupt you, Your Majesty. It says graves. People have gone around. <laughs> Blast. I don't know. Blast? I don't know what blast is. Sir? If I do that right, we'll find out. I don't think Sir? I Sir? Oh, I did that wrong. There we go. There we go. And they are going to fight a battle. Yeah, yeah the graphics are cheesy. No. No. It's a small indie game. It's a sim. Come on now. That's something I never noticed before. Our warriors increase in level. There, we have finished the tutorial. And with that, I will end this video. Thank you much. Until I see you all next time, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and of course, say hi to the Hearths, uh, Hearthlands guides. The links are down below to their YouTube, their Twitter, and their Facebook. Until I see you all again next time, bye bye